exciting topic, rebalancing. What does rebalancing mean and why is it important to your portfolio? Well, when discussing investments or reading the news, you may have heard the phrase rebalancing. It's an important part of making sure your portfolio continues to reflect your goals, but it can be overlooked or misunderstood. Before we start looking at rebalancing, it's important to understand how and why we invest in a long-term strategy. It can be very tempting to buy and sell stocks and try and maximize profits, especially during periods of high volatility. It seems like a good idea to buy low and sell high, but tiny markets consistently is impossible. So many different factors influence stock prices that you could end up missing out or losing money. Between 1989 and 2019, if you'd invested £1,000 in the FTSE 100 but missed out on the best 30 days because you tried to time the market, it would have cost you £19,000 according to Schroeder's. This is a good reminder of why the saying, it's time in the markets, not timing the markets, is so common. Instead, a long-term buy and hold approach is more suitable for most investors. As the name suggests, you buy stocks that match your long-term goals and risk and profile and hold them for very long. While values may fall at times, this strategy aims to deliver growth over the investment time frame. Investors need to be patient as historically stock markets have risen and so they will benefit over the long term. Yet a buy and hold strategy doesn't mean you never need to make changes to your portfolio. This is where rebalancing comes in. When you first start investing, you create a portfolio with a certain risk profile in mind. This will consider your investment time frame, your goals, and your financial position. However, over time, even if you don't buy or sell the assets, your initial investment position can change due to market movements. Let's say you set up a portfolio holding 50% in stocks and 50 in bonds. Following a period of stock performing well, your stock allocation could have risen changing the weighting of your portfolio. This may mean you're now taking more investment risk than is suitable for you. In this case, rebalancing your portfolio would involve selling stock and buying bonds to achieve the original target allocation of 50-50. It's not just asset allocation that should be considered when rebalancing portfolios. You should also consider the level of risk and diversification. Assets performing well in a certain sector, for instance, could mean you need to rebalance. So, while you are buying and selling assets when rebalancing, it's not about timing the market or making knee-jerk decisions based on the movements. Rather, it's about ensuring your portfolio continues to reflect your circumstances and your goals. There's no set timescale when you should rebalance your portfolio, but it is advisable to do it on a regular review, say for example, annually. Rebalancing may occur after significant market movements, such as volatility caused by COVID-19. It's not just market movements that can affect whether your portfolio still suit you. As you should invest with long-term timeframes, you may find your goals and aspirations change. As a result, you may need to update your risk profile and reflect this in your portfolio. Rebalancing may already be factored into your financial plan. A common time for investors to rebalance their portfolio is as they get near to retirement. While you're earning an income, you may be in a position to take more risk with your investments than you would when you uh, retire. Therefore, 
As you approach retirement, you may feel you need to gradually take less risk with your investments. This is why your lifestyle choices and aspirations should be central to your financial plan. Your goals will affect your investment strategy. Your investment will work hard when you're taking an income. You may be suited with as much exposure to equities when you were accumulating. In short, rebalancing helps ensure your portfolio remains in line with your investment goals in spite of market movements. It's important for making sure your portfolio continues to support your goals over the long term. If you'd like to discuss your portfolio and whether rebalancing is needed, please contact us. We're here to help and align your investment strategy with your wider lifestyle plans so it helps you reach your goals.